Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now I wonder how those dumbass voice actors, the one for Abby and probably the one for Ellie, I'm not sure about the second one, will react to this because they have said that it is bots who are review bombing The Last of Us Part 2. And even though on Metacritic there is definitely a review shilling, not just from Axis Media but also from some users, I don't know how they just to go there and put tens out of tens there. Maybe they like the game, or maybe they are just review mercenaries out there trying to give the game a better score. So this is the official page of the PlayStation Store, and as you can see here, The Last of Us Part 2 is already down to four stars. It was four and a half stars. It began with five stars because there were some people who were given early access to the game somehow probably a few copies or whatever and it started with about a thousand and six hundred people giving five stars and then it slowly went down to four stars so yeah Neil Druckmann rejoice because you are just trolling people and seeing that this game got a lot of attention and a lot of people are speaking about it yes they are speaking about it but they are basically exposing you and your weak story and can you say that these people who actually bought the game from PlayStation are bots as well? Let's see if you have the balls to say so. Or let's see if Sony has the balls to delete those negative reviews. I think they will lose all credibility if they try to do so. This is their store and people have every right to like or dislike a game as long as they bought it. So these people have actually bought the game and the game sits at 4 stars with about 11,118 copies probably digital and physical I'm not sure how it's counted but yeah those are reviews of this game and obviously not everyone who plays this game reviews it but there are a lot of people who were disappointed and who were misled by your trailers and your lies about Joel and I don't think someone would just go out of their way to pay $60 for this game just to review bomb it. It doesn't make any sense. No one with two sales of brain would just lose $60 on this game just to give it a negative review. And since Neil Druckmann is comparing The Last of Us Part 2 to The Last of Us, the original one, let's look at the reviews for the original one. So here let us type The Last of Us and let's go to the remastered version. So you can see here that there are 206,000 people and 269 who rated this game and stunning five stars. Perfect score because no one had problems with the first one. You see here the ratio is much higher and still manages to get five stars whereas this game is already down to four stars with way less ratings than this game here obviously this one is much older but you get the point point. and let us go to the last of us on the playstation 3 let's see 18,481 reviews or ratings all of which are five stars obviously this game was released way back in the day 2015 so there weren't many people who reviewed or probably bothered to give this game a rating because everyone was just busy enjoying the game and they don't have time to express their anger or disappointment because the game is really good they don't really care they just want to play and enjoy the game and some people went out of their way and gave very good ratings because they think this game totally deserves it so yeah we're not hating on Naughty Dog but we're hating on the story of The Last of Us Part 2 and I specifically here say the story I'm not speaking about anything else I'm speaking about the story only and for Metacritic it is going the Rotten Tomatoes way you know how Rotten Tomatoes blocked some reviews for certain movies and you can see here that the positive scores are crawling in a very fast pace and the negative ones are just you know little by little increasing because people have reported that Metacritic doesn't allow them to give their negative reviews. Metacritic isn't really that big of a deal but psychologically speaking when you see a game that has got a lot of positive rating 
you would think wow this game is really good so I probably should give it a go and that's why people care about these scores because scores are a marketing facet and they present to you this game or that game in a certain way so if the game has negative reviews people would shy away from it and they would say oh why does this game have so many negative reviews? There must be a reason there. So yeah, that's why Metacritic and scores from media are really important because they are really affecting the sales. We don't know how much they are affecting them, but they definitely do affect them. And there are definitely some people who will pay attention to these scores and would probably even base their future buy-ins on the score of a game and the reviews these people give critics or user reviews it will be interesting to see how sony is going to go with this i cannot wait to see i will talk to you again soon have a good one